Heath Zenith decorative lanterns have sensitivity control that allows you to customize the detection zone to your specific home and surroundings. The sensitivity control, which is labeled SENS on the light fixture, adjusts how far away the sensor will detect motion. The sensitivity dial will either be located on the rear of the fixture or on the bottom of the fixture. If the sensitivity dial is located on the rear of the light fixture, be sure to make all necessary adjustments of the sensitivity before caulking around the light base. To reduce the distance that the sensor will detect motion, turn the sensitivity dial counterclockwise towards the MIN or minimum setting. To increase the distance that the sensor will detect motion, turn the sensitivity dial clockwise towards the MAX or maximum setting. Some important things to remember are the motion sensor does not actually see physical movement but rather detects the movement of temperature differences across the zones created by the plastic lens located on the front of the sensor. As a result, the sensor is more sensitive to movement across the front of it than it is to movement toward it. The colder the surrounding air temperature, the more sensitive the sensor will appear. This is because of the extreme difference between the surrounding air temperature and body heat, which is approximately 98 degrees. The closer to the maximum setting the sensitivity dial is set, the more likely the sensor will detect small animals, automobiles, and other types of moving objects that have a different temperature than the surrounding air. If this is undesirable, then reduce the sensitivity. Some other items that might be detected are dryer vents or air conditioning units. Also, large surfaces of water or asphalt that collect the heat during the day and release it at night. Brightly painted heat reflective surfaces might also cause false triggering. If any of these seem to be the cause of your light coming on for no reason, turn the sensitivity dial toward the minimum setting. Or, if the light is equipped with a movable sensor, reposition the sensor to reduce or stop the false triggering. As you set up the detection zone, you will need to adjust the distance of the zone using the sensitivity dial. If the fixture is equipped with a movable sensor, you can adjust the direction of the zone by moving the sensor side to side as needed. Step 1. To set up the detection zone, slide the on time switch to the test position. While in the test mode, the photocell is disabled and the light will operate during daylight. When motion is detected using the test setting, the light will stay on for 5 seconds after all motion is stopped. Also, if the light is equipped with a dual bright control, slide it to the off position. Step 2. Set the sensitivity dial halfway between the minimum and maximum positions. Step 3. Determine the area you want covered by the sensor. Step 4. Starting with the outer extreme of the determined coverage area, walk around in front of the sensor. Stop when the light turns on. Step 5. Wait for the light to turn off and continue walking in front of the sensor to determine the area being covered. Adjust the sensitivity as needed. Step 6. If the sensitivity dial is on the rear of the light fixture, carefully remove the fixture from the wall. Adjust the sensitivity dial as needed and remount the fixture before continuing the testing process. To increase the distance being covered, turn the sensitivity dial toward the maximum position. To decrease the distance being covered, turn the sensitivity dial toward the minimum position. Step 7. If the fixture is equipped with a movable sensor as described in the owner's manual, you can move the detection zone from side to side by grasping the sensor and rotating it as needed. Be careful not to rotate the sensor past the built-in stops, otherwise the sensor or light fixture might be damaged. Also, if the sensor is difficult to rotate, loosen the finial and then rotate the sensor. After all adjustments are complete, securely attach the light fixture to the junction box and caulk around the fixture base. Your new decorative lantern is now set up and ready to help protect your family and home. For additional information and other videos that show you how to set up and use your new Heath Zenith products, 
visit our website at hcsupport.com.